What up, y'all? It's your boy, Bugatti Racing. <laughs> that was the big body. You ain't even see it. <laughs> now I'm just playing, and this is Racing Pipes Podcast. You already know. Now, we've already started this series, and we deep in it at this point. Y'all probably like, if y'all watching this stuff, y'all probably like, man, I don't know. He got some points, but he, man, he got me and my girl in here talking. I don't really know. I don't really know how this is going. Well, guess what? I got some more for you. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I got one more for you. And this one, it'll be a little better. This one's going to be a little bit better. You feel me? This is for the ladies and the guys. You know what I mean? Some way that you can kind of sneak it in there. You know what I mean? This is how that one's going to go. Now, this one's called, What's What When She Drawing? Yeah. <laughs> that means... Let's say you sitting at a table with a sweet young lady and you giving her the business and she's smiling away and just, oh, this nigga crazy. She touching your hand and fiddling with the fork. <laughs> she drawing, cuz. <laughs> she, she about to go. She about, you about to knock that down. <laughs> you about to knock that down, player. Hold up. That might not be true. A lot of times, women will draw specifically to get that next drink and to get that next meal. So what's what when you feel like she's drawn? What symbols or signs does a woman give off when she really feels like, I like this guy? I think I might go ahead and bust him. Well, I can definitely tell you this much. The conversation continues. Her being engaged and showing interest in what you have to say is one of the number one ways you know she feeling you. Because trust me, ain't no woman on earth going to sit there and have a full-blown conversation while she could be stuffing food in her mouth and drinking her drink if it wasn't popping. If the conversation was dry, if you didn't have too many witty comebacks or dope repertoire to go along with it, you're right. <laughs> Probably not drawing, but when she's making physical eye, um, sorry, physical contact, eye contact, she's laughing a lot. She genuinely seems interested in. She responds to the conversations. That means she drawing. Now, what do you do? Do you go in for the the kill? You know, like a deer when you you line him up, bow, when you get him, and you see him go down, and you like, oh, I got this, I got, I got. You run over there real quick and he's still squirming a little bit. You like, yeah. Lunchtime. Bow. Yeah, that's nice. For a deer hunt. Not necessarily for the ladies. See, she might be drawing early into the relationship. Or I'm sorry, the date. Or whatever situation y'all in. Y'all might just be kicking it and she drawing or whatever. Now she might start drawing early. That's the hardest one. Or it could take a little bit of time for her to really get comfortable enough around you and heard enough stuff that she might like, that she might start to like you a little more. You know what I mean? So you got to be able to know the two. But do you make the kill right then and there? Or do you keep on drawing her shell on in? Well, what I would do, because I'm an excellent conversationalist, and, you know, I really do find a lot of the stuff that women be talking about interesting. So having a conversation with a female to me is pretty easy because, you know, what I mean, once you learn how to navigate, you know, through the sift through the stuff or the conversation that you kind of want to keep and then be able to throw the rest of it out so it doesn't bore your brain out. You know, what I mean, which it can't happen if the conversation is dry, if she's not a very lively person, you could very literally get very um bored with the conversation so to be able to stay in this conversation engaged to show her that you really care and that you know you still want to keep this going you kind of just got to pick up on her cues a lot of laughing like i said a lot of touching a lot of situations where she's like asking questions about stuff that you ask one thing that i love is that let's see she has a question right but it's a compound story that i have to tell if she's actually listening at the end of my story, she could always go back and be like, wait, wait, I, I heard what you said, but what about the one time when you first started and you said that, 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 that type of shit is attractive to me. I'd be like, damn, you actually paying attention. You know what I mean? I might've just told you some stuff that really hurt me 
And I'm looking for feedback at the end of that. Like, you know what I mean? I might still be dealing with this on the inside. Are you okay with that? Do you know anything that I could possibly do to get over it? You know what I mean? And she busts off and gives you some this, this, that, and the third. And it's like, wow, man, you actually were paying attention. That, to me, feels more important when it comes to our conversations, um, that you're actually paying attention and that you're acting active in the conversation you're reciprocating and the uh thought processes that right there makes me feel super happy i'm like yo that's a real one right there i really dig that that she actually took the time to give it enough to like input on this conversation because like i said you never really know what a female's intentions are until it's too late a lot of times they lie so well it's like dang man you wasn't even feeling me and i told you all that stuff and it's never good when that type of stuff happens. It's never good when that type of stuff happens. You know, um, me, myself, and I, I just, excuse me, my bad, something's so loud. Um, me, myself, and I, I've just gotten to the point where I realize that uh, I, if I really am giving a lot to the conversation and I'm giving a lot to the our position in a relationship and she's not really forthcoming or giving anything back. A lot of times I, I just kind of lose myself in that conversation. Cause it's like, dang, man, I, I feel like you ain't even really listening. And you know, if you have to stop and say that, that girl wasn't listening or that dude wasn't really listening. And then they give you that weak reference. Oh, you was talking about, uh, the one thing. And, it, uh, and, it, and before that you was like, uh, and it's like, bro, you wasn't even listening. You know, I might've been trying to like put you up on game or like, or help you out, or or even tell you something personal, personal, uh, personal, personable, personable, <laughs> personable, not even a word, something personal about me and my life, and you know this may be something that I might be either dealing with or just something I might want to tell you. Like, damn, does she accept this, or does she? Do I feel like she could love me beyond this moment? You know, if she knew this, a lot of times guys be trying to like, man, I don't want to lose her if she find out on her own. So I'm gonna just go ahead and tell her. And then he tell you some stuff and, you know, a lot of times women can take it. Sometimes women cannot take it. So it's like, it's a give and take with that situation because you never really know, you know, what he's, what he's about to tell you anyway. But the fact that she's, she's giving in the conversation, that to me is like, wow, like, I can't believe you actually held it down. Especially if she touch it. Now you, whew. <laughs> boy, you know, to play with me now. Um, I do love. Physical contact. That's my love language. Physical contact is guaranteeably my love language. I like to touch on you. I want to feel on you. I want you to I want you to feel. I don't want you to know. You know what I mean? Because your mind will trick you. Your mind can trick you. A lot of physical stuff, a lot of touch, a lot of smell, a lot of, you know, hearing. You know, even hearing ain't really all that. But, but just like touch, smell, taste, that type of stuff brings truths into your life. Because when I touch something, I know it's there. When I smell something, I know it's there. When I taste something, I know it's there. So when a female is actually touching you and she's putting her hands on you and, and she's allowing you, well, another thing is if she allowing you to touch her, she let you put your hand on her and, you know, grab her little wrist. Oh, what you doing? Or you put your hand behind her back, you know, you get to rub it on her back a little bit, maybe grip a little. <laughs> Don't do it. She's going to smack your hand. But she liked it, though. She liked it, though. She playing. She be stunning. She liked it, though. But what I'm saying, though, is, you know, um, if she's letting you do all this type of stuff, then that really means she kind of likes you because most women will not let you touch you, let you touch her if she's not feeling you. You know what I mean? A lot of times we get so caught up on, you know, her looks and, you know, her body shape and you know, her hair and that smell good they love to wear, you know, that we forget that sometimes her love language isn't gifts, money, adoration. Sometimes her love language is touch and you might be doing a whole bunch of this, this, that, and the third and ain't hugged her all day and she pissed off about that. This nigga got me in the car and brought me to this dang restaurant. It's nice, it's nice, but he didn't hug me. And I hate him for this. I won't see him anymore. That could literally happen. So what to do when I feel like a woman is drawling? You know what I mean? Reel her in as long as it takes. But never jump the never jump the gun when you think you should, unless she lets you know you you can. But never jump the gun when it, when a woman is drawling because I do feel like that's gonna lead you in a, up to a bad place with her, and I don't think that she'll respect you afterwards. So, with that being said, that's what you do when you drawling. Now you can take that and run with it, elaborate. Please do like, share, and comment down at the bottom. You know what I mean? At the bottom of the. 
You know what I mean? So that we can all really see, you know, what what's what's really going on. Especially the ladies. I love for y'all to let us know. How do we know when y'all drawing? Get down in the comments for me real quick and let me know. What it, what is it like when y'all really drawing? Like, what is it, you know, is it like, let me know, shit, I don't know. Dang. So I say, get a, a comment so I know. I want to love you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just laughing. It's your boy, Bugatti Racing. And once again, this is another episode of Racing Pipes Podcast. <laughs> and I'm gonna Peace.